Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're having a fantastic day and in today's video I actually have some brand new information regarding the comet or the meteorite in the sky and also Tilted Towers being destroyed. Epic Games has just updated the game to the version 3.6.0 update and actually has a brand new area on the map that kind of hints towards Tilted Towers possibly being destroyed tomorrow. Yes, that is right. It sounds very interesting and uh, yeah, we're going to talk about it today in today's video. Now before we do get into today's video guys, please do not forget to leave a like. Let's see if we can hit, let's say, 600 likes. That would be really cool if, if you could do that. And also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, and especially my giveaways. I've actually got a giveaway going on this week and it is actually for the Season 4 Battle Pass. I will be buying 5 people that completely free, no strings attached, and uh, yeah, if that sounds like something that you would enjoy or you would like to kind of get in on, go to my channel. There's a video named Season 4 Battle Pass Free or something like that. Go and check it out. It'll actually run you through how to participate into that giveaway and how to apply. Uh, so anyway, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this awesome new discovery that has been found at Tilted Towers in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, of course, like I said, Epic Games has just updated the patch to patch 3.6.0 and a couple of people actually found out that in Tilted Towers it's actually been updated and it is now showing a couple of new things lying around on top of a rooftop there and it's actually pretty interesting and you should be seeing some gameplay in the background in the replay editor right now and as you can see on top of this one building in Fortnite Battle Royale you can actually see that there is a couple of new things added at the top of the rooftop on this area and as you can see one is a brand new chest and it's a couch with a television and everything and especially if we just kind of take a deeper look into this you will see that there is actually a couple of signs or picket signs that are around on this building top and uh, the first one that we're going to be looking at is this one on screen right now and as you can see it is a picket fence with a kind of like broken wood kind of piece with a sign with a love heart with the tilted tower skyline inside the love heart itself saying you know we love tilted towers now if we look at this other one we can actually see that it has another sign where it has the meteorite coming down and obviously you know they're protesting please don't hit us it's coming down towards here now the most interesting sign out of all of this is actually this one on screen right here and as you can see it has the words today on it but it is actually being crossed out and it says tomorrow. Now what's really interesting about that is that normally when Epic Games update their game they normally do it on Wednesdays but for some unknown reason today they decided to update the game today with, with this patch. Now that kind of begs the difference you know like will they still update tomorrow like they usually do because near enough every update that comes out is on a Wednesday and it just so happens that this one update, which actually introduces this sign saying tomorrow, is updated a day early. So could it be that tomorrow we're actually going to get a surprise update and we're going to be seeing the meteorite smash into Tilted Towers. Now, of course, a lot of the kind of, uh, I guess, like kind of information has debugged this, you know. Apparently, if you go inside the in-game files, it'll actually show you that the whole meteorite thing is actually a limited time mode coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. And you know what? Honestly, I checked in the game files today and it has been updated once again. And it seems that these meteorites that are going to be hitting down all across the map will be able to be opened up and actually looted. There's going to be loot inside of them. And that was really interesting to me because, I don't know, I mean, like a lot of people said, you know, Tilted Towers may be destroyed, but when we look at the in-game files, a lot of the information presented to us is actually telling a very different story. And especially when I actually went into the in-game files that one time and found that there was meant to be an in-game uh, LTM called, I believe, Meteor or something like that. I forget what it's called, but there's apparently going to be an LTM that is going to be have like these meteorites hit all around the map and you can actually go and loot these things and get loot out of them. So once again, Epic Games has done a very good job of kind of, you know, twisting our theories here because at one point they're putting these picket fences around, uh, these picket signs all around the map and they're kind of saying, you know, well, they could be destroyed tomorrow, it could be tilted, you know, but then on the other hand, if you go inside the in-game files, which you're not meant to see, it's actually telling a very different story, but... You know, Epic Games are really good at surprising people and, you know, this could all just be a kind of, like, kind of, 
It, it could be just a, a, a decoy, you know? It could be some sort of decoy to take us away from what's actually going to happen inside the game. Uh, but anyway, guys, tell me what you think in the comment section below about this. Are you interested about this? Are you going to go inside the game and check this out for yourself? Because I tell you right now, it's actually very, very interesting. And, uh... I'm very worried about Tilted now. I mean, I don't like Tilted per personally because I feel like the majority <laughs> the majority of the times when you land here, it's basically luck. If you don't get a shotgun within a couple of minutes, you're pretty much dead. And But there's another part to me where I'm hoping that it doesn't get destroyed because I know a lot of people really like it. Uh, but anyway, tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And also, I would like to say a big huge thank you for 300,000 subscribers on the channel. The channel has been blowing up lately and all I want to say is that I know that I haven't done that many giveaways on this channel to be honest. I've done like what maybe about five at the most in terms of Fortnite but the more views I get and everything the reality is like Mr. Beast you know the more views he gets on his videos the more he is able to give away and that's kind of what I want to be. I want to be kind of like the Mr. Beast of uh, Fortnite I guess like you know with the extra revenue that I earn I will give away and kind of reward people for being awesome subscribers and you know all that kind of stuff so all I want to say is that I will try my best to get a couple more giveaways out in the future uh, but you know that is only if I can afford to pay my bills and have a leftover money you know on the side and stuff like that uh, but anyway guys keep an eye out on the channel in the next couple of days because there's going to be a huge amount of information and a lot of leaks coming from the in-game files to do with the next couple of weeks of Fortnite Battle Royale especially the season 4 battle pass we should be hearing about that any day now and honestly I feel like maybe tomorrow we may hear our first bit of information about the actual battle pass itself any time I get any kind of information I will do an update video straight away so if you are going to subscribe today guys please turn on notifications and uh, yeah just keep your eye out on the channel because I update uh, my channel every single day with Fortnite Battle Royale videos so you know you guys should be able to enjoy all of the content that I produce for you. Now, before I end the video, I did actually just realize that I didn't actually show any definitive kind of proof that the in-game files show that you're actually able to loot the meteorites themselves. And that's something that I don't want to kind of miss out on because I know a lot of people will jump to conclusions, call me a liar and everything like that. But what I'm going to be showing you on screen before we leave today's video is a tweet or, you know, kind of a screen grab from a dude called Two Epic Buddies. This is a very, very notorious Fortnite data miner. He is very reliable and he has actually found all of these in-game files that you're seeing on screen right now and as you can see it actually has some brand new stuff uh, to do with the meteorite apparently now the meteorite has a lot of new sounds and judging by what he has actually put on his twitter account he says that the actual sounds of the meteorite are very very cool and very airy and uh, yeah if you kind of just look it says here distant explosion so that actually means that when the meteorite falls or one of them fall or you know p fragments of them fall it will make a small explosion to kind of alert players is that oh there's a loot drop right over there go and grab it and uh, as you can see it says here land distance meteorite impact one meteorite impact two these are different sounds by the way so like these are all going to be sounds and also right here you can see uh, i believe it's the one two three four the fourth fifth sixth the sixth line and the seventh line actually say here Gameplay, sounds, Meteor, Meteor Break Open, Meteor Break Open 2. So basically, this is kind of proving that these will be broken open and you can actually loot them. I believe he did actually put a couple more pictures on his Twitter account. Unfortunately, right now, I'm not actually on his Twitter account and I cannot actually grab them. But uh, yeah, they will work as some sort of supply drop for a small amount of time whilst this whole event is ongoing. I also would like to say that he found that one of the in-game files was actually called Carmine. Now, if you guys don't know what that actually means is uh, there was actually a character in an Epic Games game called Carmine. This was for Gears of War and he was a very loved character in that series. Like his brothers were very loved and Carmine always used to get killed. He would always die. All of the Carmine brothers died except for one, I believe. And uh, I don't know what exactly this means, but maybe it just, it's some kind of like, I don't know. Maybe it's something. I don't know. I, but he did say that it was called Carmine and this is actually very notable. So the fact that there's a phrase in the in-game files called Carmine 
may actually just kind of, I don't know, kind of relate to something that they have hidden. So maybe it means that we're going to die inevitably, just like the Carmine brothers did in, in uh, Gears of War, you know? Uh, but anyway, guys, sorry to drag this on a little tiny bit. You guys know. Uh, but yeah, I kind of wanted to prove everything that I was saying in the video and uh, not leave any kind of uh, strings untied, I guess. Is that even a phrase? I don't know. But if it isn't, it is now. So yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Have an awesome day. Enjoy the brand new update. And I wish you all the best of luck for tomorrow and uh, god bless your souls yeah, but anyway guys have an awesome day and until next time i've been star lord oh see ya